Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Performing and Visual Arts, SOPVA, Certificate Post-Graduate Certificate Programs, Certificate in Performing Arts Karnataka Music, Chakma, OVA 001 Indian Culture Heritage, Block 1 Introduction to Indian Culture, Unit to Nature, Plurality Unity in Diversity, 2.1 Introduction. In Unit 1 of this block we have studied the meaning of culture, how Indian culture evolved and the glory of Indian cultural traditions and about the cultural changes tiling place from time to time. Now, in this unit we will explore the nature of Indian culture, its uniqueness in identifying the feature of plurality. Above all India is recognized as having cultural unity in diversity. Because we follow many religions, we belong to many castes, we speak many languages, and we cook different varieties of food, we worship number of gods, we dress in various ways. The differences are obviously seen, but culturally we are united. What are the characteristics and that unite Indians under one umbrella? We will study all these in this unit. Objectives. After studying this unit, you will be able to times understand the nature of Indian culture. Times you will acquire a proper perspective of the cultural heritage of India. Times you will develop pride for your culture. To point to nature of Indian culture in our tradition. Prayer is not for the happiness of mankind alone, but plants and animals are also included. The prayer is not for one's own happiness and prosperity, but for collective happiness. This is for the purpose of the removal of distress. Ancient India was a land of wisdom. All branches of knowledge developed in India and in many fields we had excelled much ahead of the Western society. Illumined knowledge possessing the higher and renouncing the lower was greatly considered and in present times it means simple living and high thinking. In Indian culture dhanna has higher goals. Dhanna is not the English translation of religion. Dhanna is not imposed but naturally, voluntarily followed. The closer meaning of which is righteousness. One has to develop a natural behavior and functions of righteousness. In that sense Sanatna the ever prevailing is the correct word than the narrow usage of the term Hindu. Dharma was upheld in Vedic, Buddhist and Jaina Pans. As the symbol of respecting Dharma, the Dharmachakra of Ashoka appears on our national flag. Evil plans do not stand for long as we believe in truth and truth ultimately prevails. We will discuss some more features in detail under the characteristics of Indian culture. 2.3 Plurality in Indian culture Plurality is to or many ways of doing different things. Pluralism is an established feature of life in India and plays an important role in our culture. We have intense pride for Ajanta Caves, the Kashi Temple, the Taj Mahal, Gomateswara of Shravabel Gola and the Golden Temple of Amritsar. Though they represent different faiths, there is a sense of emotional experience of being Indian in all these. This explains the plurality of faiths. In the past, in India, Kshetra, region, and Desha, nation, represented to different identities in the sense of plurality. But their relationship is of the nature of coexistence and not of confrontation. This explains plurality in identity and the ways of knowing it. With respect to language, India never had the monopoly of one language. Many local, regional, national and international languages are spoken and learnt by Indians. We have the willingness to learn many languages. Indian culture promotes the learning abilities of several streams at a time and not to discard one for the other. Our children at school level study three languages under the three language formula policy of our education. Firstly, local or regional language. Secondly, the national language Hindi and thirdly, the international language English. We do not follow the policy of worshipping one god throughout India or follow one religion with one or two sects. Every community, every caste has different gods to worship and customs to follow. Culturally, the approach of Indian people towards social, 
values than the other things but coexist. Even politically, India was never ruled by one royal power historically except in times of Ashoka or under the British. Several royal families ruled their territories at the same time. They all ruled their domains but looked for an opportunity to overpower the other. For example, when the Mughals were ruling the North, India, the Vijayanagara rulers in the South and the Bahmani rulers in parts of Deccan and Central India were ruling their territory at the same time. Like this, in many ways plurality exists in relation to coexistence and not by confrontations. Even today, Indian democracy is unique for its multipolitical party system. Thus, the society is seen different from the position and political power. We also notice that in Indian lives with many identities such as you can be a Bengali or Tanilian, Goan, a Hindu, Muslim or a Christian and also an Indian all at once. They all have their identities within the structure of homogeneous living. This nature of plurality itself is integral to Indianness. 2.4 characteristics of Indian culture. There are certain essential characteristics which are unique to Indian culture. Good governance was always considered to be an essential prerequisite for the happiness of people. That is why prayers were offered to invoke auspicious time, so the rulers bestow happiness and prosperity on people, always treading the path of righteousness in governing the state. India is an agricultural society, happiness of the people is linked with the well-being of the cattle. For the happiness of all, the Pacha Mahabhutas, the five, Primordial elements such as Prithvi the earth, Akasha the sky, Jala water, Vayu air and Agni fire are propitiated and respected. Through the functioning of these elements, the life of every individual survives. In our culture these elements are worshipped in rituals, pilgrimages and festivals and respected in everyday life. Though they are natural elements, they are treated as gods in Indian culture and, as far as possible, harm should not cause to these elements of nature. Many customs and traditions have developed over the centuries respecting these five. Primordial elements, Ahinsa non-violence was upheld in Jainism and Buddhism and in our times, Mahatma Gandhi had championed the cause of Ahinsa by sending the British away without OSC waging a war during our freedom struggle and got our India. Independent, the storyline, contents, characters, messages, and lessons we draw from our epics like Ramayana and Mahabharata are not confined to one geographical area. These are for every Indian and at any time and space these two epics stand as great examples to draw inspiration from time to time. They have great impact on the thought process of Indians. From all such experiences and ideals has developed a common outlook towards life. Another perennial value that the Indian culture has inculcated is the spirit of universal relationship. M. Tilda is not alone and does not live in isolation. He is related to the entire world through a very strong bondage. What is now being called global consciousness covering the entire world was the very foundation of Indian culture. 2.5 Unity in diversity composite nature of Indian culture, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru said, a country with a long cultural background and common outlook on life develops a spirit that is peculiar to it and that is impressed on all its children, however, much they may differ among themselves. By the reference of all the above it is very clear and also an accepted fact that India is a land of diversity. Basically, the nature of Indian culture is made of multi-layers of our existence. We cannot think or relish single system in anything pertaining to our social life. Let us feel proud in our diversity and coexistence. India's unity is based on our diversity, on our multilingual, religious and traditional coexistence. Indian nationalism is not based on language, geography or ethnicity but on an idea of the land to which we belong. Pandit Nehru expressed the concept of unity in diversity in these beautiful words, though outwardly there was diversity, an infinite variety among our people everywhere there was that tremendous impress of oneness, 
which had held all of us together for ages past. Whatever political fate or misfortune had befallen us, the unity of India was no longer merely an intellectual conception but emotional experience. Thus, our unity is the unity of heart and mind which will inspire to work together. This experience is the real foundation of Indian culture. This foundation has ever remained intact. Here and over that foundation new additions and alterations have been made and still being made. This kind of unified outlook in diversity has given an image to Indian culture as the composite culture. Composite is the admixture of many things. In the sense of culture, it means a long-standing, integrated diversified traditions, values and customs inlaid for several centuries. Every time when coming into contact with other culture, certain elements of new culture is integrated with the existing ones over a period of time due to several contacts the layers of culture forms. For example, despite 3000 years, the Vedic culture forms the foundation for our culture. The Vedic verses are chanted in oral form and they are revered by people even in present times. So we find that the old, new and modem are all integral part of the composite culture. Indian culture stands as a grand example of composite culture in the world. 2.6 Summary This unit has taught us the importance of Indian culture. We also learnt the integral or the inner essence of the culture of our country. Culture is an important expression which shows us how we unite despite our diversities. We learnt the basic characteristics of our culture like respecting elders, respecting other religious, beliefs, living in coexistence, and not to harm the natural elements. Indian culture teaches how to bear with differences and live in harmony. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru advocated Indian culture in such a way that we feel proud of our culture. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel for more updates and we will see you with the next chapter.